Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to use the Zengo templates for dynamic HTML. So, it uh, uh, how we will render the HTML pages dynamically in Zengo templates. So, moving to our VS Code. Here is our VS Code. Uh, so, firstly, I will tell you what are Zengo templates will let you know what are the Zengo templates. Zengo templates allows us to separate the HTML structure from the backend logic. Instead of hard coding the content in views, we can pass the data to the templates dynamically. So <coughs> how we will <coughs> pass the data to the template dynamically? Firstly, inside our Zengo app, where is our Zengo app? Here is our Zengo app. Inside our Zengo app, we will create a new folder we will create a new folder by the name templates templates and in this templates we will create another folder by the name of our app His name is app only and in this app I will create a file by the name home.html and in this we will add some content like here I will add Zengo app or we can say Zengo website here I will add my heading which includes this is Zengo template functionality testing okay now we have uh, we will create a template folder uh, we have created the template folder by in home.html file <coughs> uh, and, uh, okay one more thing I will show you that if I am I will just uh, print the welcome message over here I want to show you something else like I have created a folder by the name and I will use this over here because we will render the details of the variable name and what will this name do this name is a template variable now and this template variable we will pass from our view now in our app we will go to views.py and in this views.py I will I will just update this def home function and it will request to the server it will take request as an argument and in this cons in this context I will just write uh, my name over here and this function is going to return the request and this is app sorry this is app home.html and this is context variable it is going to return to us now the name will be the dynamically inserted into the template this name will dynamically get inserted into the template because we are returning the render function which includes the argument context okay and context contains the dictionary with e with an item name now i will configure the urls which will help us to connect our view to a url i will go to urls.py here and in this urls.py i will just modify it a little bit uh, like from zengo.urls import path from dot views import home I have imported home over here and uh, okay all sorted uh, I don't need to modify it here nothing now I will go to test my server I will go to test my server uh, firstly I will move to my project folder now I am in my, my project folder and I will just run the my server python manage dot py run server 
it will just run my server over here I will hover over the link and I will just click follow link here you can see welcome Krishna I just wrote welcome and name over here if you can think about it and this renders my name Krishna this is the practical example that we pass the name we pass the name dynamically to the template and it return the name exactly and that's how we use Zango templates to create the dynamic web pages that's it for this video I hope you understood the concept behind it and if you found this tutorial useful then do let me know in the comment section so that I can give you Zango tips over there and thank you for watching this video thank you guys thank you so much